first joined the Albert Park Yachting and Angling Club when I was 16 years old, I've got a particularly special interest in uh, the project that we're doing. This whole area of northern Port Phillip Bay, or Hobson's Bay, it had lots and lots of mussels and oysters forming reefs, which we used to go fishing on to catch snapper. They've gone now because of over-exploitation. Around about the 1960s, there was dredging activities in the bay, mainly for scallops. They then depleted the scallops so much that they started dredging for oysters and mussels. Now that the dredging's been stopped for 20 odd years, they weren't seeing any recovery. We started to think, is there any way we can try to bring this habitat back because it was so important to our fish species? Well, actually, maybe we can. These reefs are incredible, creating fish habitat, filtering water. They were a biodiversity hotspot back in the day. These shells behind me, there's around 300 cubic metres. If we weren't recycling these shells, they would be in landfill right now. The bottom line is we need to rebuild the population of the native Angazi oysters. For the oyster reefs, we're approaching it by deploying 180 tonnes of limestone. A 24 metre long barge was towed out by a large tug. that then deploys that limestone into a 30 metre by 10 metre patch of reef base. It means the world to me. Uh, there's been a lot of hard work over the last two years. For me to be able to bring a habitat back to Port Phillip Bay, I feel like it's a real privilege. A week or so after that, we'll go back and we'll spread oysters over that reef base. And those oysters are grown in the Victorian shellfish hatchery. The first experiments were testing out what sort of conditions we needed to create to promote survival and growth of, of baby flat oysters when we put them back out to sea. We actually take mussels and oysters and we spawn them in tanks. It's really satisfying to get to a stage where we're doing this at a meaningful scale. Hope it continues to grow in the future. The other part of the process is bringing back the mussel reefs. So our plan is to use the recycled shells that are recycled from businesses like Little Creatures in Geelong and also seafood wholesalers to put down a bed of recycled shell and then live mussels on top. It is possible to restore shellfish reefs. It's a habitat we need to restore and I would encourage people in other jurisdictions to definitely look at doing this as well. The thing is I can remember the way it was. I guess it's a kind of a dream to reintroduce the biodiversity that we once had and also have much cleaner water. Mm -hmm.